Hello, everyone. Welcome in. It's me, Dana, a.k.a. Triple C. Welcome to Craft Hour with Triple C. I'm super excited to be here. So I'm going to get started with my prayer because we do our, we are making some prayer squares, some, some prayer. Good morning. Good morning. I appreciate you, everybody. Was been, come on in. Everybody hit the thumbs up. And um, I'm going to start praying after the prayer, guys. We're going to get into these squares. There are actually um, some, some cross squares some prayer squares. So we're going to start those today. Very, very easy. I feel like it could be easy. I never made them before, but we're going to try them together. So let me pray and then we can get started. Okay. Thank you everybody for coming in, hitting the thumbs up and sharing this stream out. I hope you're having a beautiful, more amazing morning. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Y'all. I've been having a great day, like a great weekend, great, like last couple of days, loving it. So I hope you guys are too. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come to you giving you glory and honor on this morning. And thank you for another day and another opportunity to just to do your will and your way. God, you are so awesome and so great. And I just bless your name. I thank you for making a way out of no way. And I thank you for breathing life into us on a day and giving us life, God. Thank you for the life that you blessed us with and the grace and the mercy that you also blessed us with, God. On this morning, I ask you to begin to cover us from the crown of our head to the very soles of our feet and be with us wherever we may be on our job, Father God. Maybe we'll be driving. Maybe we'll be um, we're in the workplace, Father God. Maybe we'll be at home, wherever it may be. If we're in the school buildings, God, just cover us with a fresh anointing. Bless your glory for all, wherever we may be, Father God. Begin to saturate our atmospheres and encourage us, Father God, to get through and give us endurance and strength and power on this morning. Some of us are feeling a bit weak. And so, Father God, on this morning, I'm asking you begin to just fill us up until we overflow, Father God. We need an overflowing in this in this season, Father God. So I'm asking you begin to just fill every need and meet every need. And Father God, I ask you begin to fill every void, Father God, every empty place. Begin to fill it, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And if things are cluttered, Father God, I ask you begin to just unclutter and declutter, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless your name. I just give you glory. I now worship you in spirit and in truth. On this morning, Father God, I ask you begin to touch those, God, who are just needing you, who are dealing with loss, Father God. We have some family members who are dealing with loss, not, not just one loss, but just not just two losses. But Father God, we not have family members I want to cover, I want to pray for my friend Yesenia, Father God, who's just been dealing with so much loss. I want you to just be able to cover her, Father God. Not only did she lose her mother, but she lost her family, so many family members within the three to four month span, Father God. And I understand what pain feels like, but she is dealing with that thing, Father God, on top of trying to deal with raising children, being an entrepreneur, having a job, Father God, dealing with health things. Father God, I'm asking that you begin to be with her, cover her spirit, show up in her life and where she is. Father God, I ask that you begin to pull on me to have a better jar as anointing, Father God, to show her who you are so that she'll be able to call on you, Father God, because I don't, I can't understand the pain that she's going through, but Father God, I understand that don't feel good. But I understand that you'll turn around a very thing that feels bad, Father God. You'll turn around for our good. So on this morning, I'm praying that whatever she's going through, whatever mountain that's been in her way, whatever obstacle, whatever flood that came in from the enemy, you raise up a standard, Father God, because your words and no weapon formed against us shall prosper. So even though it feels bad, even if it feels hurt, even if it's hurting, even if she can't see, oh God, you're there, but you're still working, Father God. I'm asking you begin to count it all joy, even when she begin to fall into diverse temptation, even when she begin to go to test and trial, Father God, she'll count it all joy. Father God, I'm praying right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That you take off every spirit of heaviness and try to come across her mind and try to come across her body, Father God. I ask that you begin to lift her up, Father God. I don't understand so much pain that she has to go through. It just hurt my heart because it's not one loss. It's not two. It's not three. It's not four, Father God. After she began to lose the family, Father God, the enemy came against her body, Father God. And I ask that you begin to just touch her. I'm asking that you begin to be with her. I'm asking that you begin to lay, let, help her to lay aside every weight, Father God. Take away every bitterness to try to come against her. Take away every spirit of hatred to try to come against her. Take away everything that's not like you to try to come against her mind and show her that she's not worthy, that she's not good enough, that she don't deserve anything. Father God, show her she's above and not beneath. Show her that she's a head and not a tail, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I ask that you begin to lift us up and encourage God. I'm sorry for complaining. I'm sorry for whimpering. I'm sorry for murmuring. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, you always show us somebody who's dealing with more than what we're dealing with. So, Father God, I ask you as you begin to bless her, Father God, pour into her and send her resources to pour into her. Father God, I don't know what it's like to deal with what she's dealing with, but Father God, I'm asking that you begin to be with her and show up in a mighty way and help those around her, Father God, to show up for her in this season. God, it's a show up season. It's not a talk about it season. It's not about a write about it season. It's not a type season. Father God, it's a show up season. So for those who are meant to show up, Father God, give them a spirit to show up in this season. Father God, I give you glory and I thank you. God, touch those who are driving on this morning. Give them a protection, Father God. Cover from any vehicle, from any um, mechanical failures, accidents, police stops, any type of sightings and slide offs. God, ask that you get them to their destination safely. Touch those who are on the job this morning. Be with them as they're working, God. Encourage them. We might have any harassment, we might have any type of problems and conflict. Excuse me, we call for high pay raises. We might kind of call for all types of um, promotions, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, on this morning, I ask that you begin to touch those who are. 
fighting for our country, being with us and sacrificing our lives daily in their families who are doing the same. God, cover them and protect them from any harm or danger. And I ask that you begin to lift them up and just motivate them and push them. Father God, give them just a love, give them a spirit of positivity and peace as they're working and fighting, Father God. On this morning, I actually been such a first responders, uh, police officers, paramedics, those who are fight, working in the medical field, uh, firefighters, God, cover them as they're on their job today. Give them a great day, Father God. Bind up spirit of fear, bind up the spirit of tension, bind up any spirit of stress, and just give them peace. And Father God, help them do their job effectively. And on this morning, God, I ask that you begin to touch those who are touch those who are in the school buildings. God, be with them right now as they're, as they're in the classroom studying and doing tests in the colleges, in the classroom. Father God, be with the teachers, the staff, the faculty, the students, the parents. Put them on a core. We come against any type of shootings. We come against any type of bullying. We come against any type of violence. We come against teenage pregnancy. We come against any type of hindering spirits and blocking spirits. We call for high test scores, high graduation rates. In the mighty name of Jesus, help them to finish up strong. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, on this morning, I ask that you begin to have your way in our lives. God, I ask you begin to be with us. Touch those who need to be touched on this morning. Deliver those who need to be delivered. Those. And I ask that you begin to set free those who are being found and bound on this morning. Bound in their mind, bound in their hearts, bound in their spirits, bound in their gifts, Father God. I ask that you begin to let us, set us free. Father God, your word said, where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty, Father God. And who the Son sets free is free indeed. So on this morning, God, I'm asking that you begin to release us, Father God. Break every chain off our lives, destroy yokes, lift burdens. Father God, I'm asking that you begin to saturate atmospheres. I'm asking that you begin to pull down and cast down every imagination. Father God, we get we give everything to you on this morning. We give you everything, every thought, Father God. We give you everything, Father God, every mindset. We give you every plan and every goal. We give it to you, Father God, because we understand that you'll add the increase. God, on this morning, we need an increase, Father God. We can't do it without you. So on this morning, I'm asking that you got, oh God, that you begin to give an increase, Father God, wherever it may be, Father God, wherever it may be, whatever goals and dreams and visions, Father God, I know that your plans are for us to be prosperous. I know your plans are to have a future and a hope in you, Father God. So on this morning, God, I'm asking that you do that thing because you're working and I go out and return back, boy, Father God. So on this morning, I'm just blessing your name because you're worthy. I'm blessing your name because I love you. I'm blessing your name and I'm giving you the highest praise, which is hallelujah, because you deserve it. You deserve it, God, just because you kept us here. You woke us up on this morning because you did it, Father God. And if someone didn't make it on this morning, so I thank you and I bless you because you deserve it, God, because you're good. God, when I tried to not to, when I tried to take myself out, you kept me. Father God, when I talked about you, when I turned my way up, turned my back to you, Father God, you kept me. Father God, whenever I said no, you still kept me. Father God, when I did, didn't want to do what you wanted me to do, you still kept me. And I thank you for keeping me, Father God. I don't care if I don't have things. I don't care. I don't have exactly what I want, but God, I promise you, I thank you for giving me what I need on this morning. I won't complain on this morning. I won't murmur on this morning. I won't be nasty and disrespectful on this morning. I'm going to give you glory. I'm going to give you praise because this is a day that you made. I will rejoice and be glad in it on this morning. I'm glad, God, that you kept me. I'm glad that you blessed me. I'm glad that you had me here. I'm glad, God. I'm thankful and I'm grateful and I will not, not stop loving you and I will not stop blessing you because I understand the things and the sacrifices that you have to give your only son. You gave your only son, God. I don't take it lightly. On this morning, Father God, I just ask that you be in cover everybody that's in this chat. Thank you for everybody that's here. God bless them, encourage them, push them, Father God, motivate them. Love on them, wrap your arms and send your ministering angels, your, your warring angels, send your guardian angels. This is an encampment and environment. But on this morning, I'm asking you to begin to just be with them. Thank you for everyone that's coming in and sowing a seed of time, sowing a seed of dumbing, sowing a seed of um, commenting. Thank those who come in with a super chat or PayPal or Cash App or join my membership. Bless their seed one million fold. They don't have to do any of that, God. And I thank you for the increase that you blessed them with to be able to pour into me. Father God, help me to use this increase. Father God, to continue to create patterns, to continue to create videos, to continue to give away things. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, use me like never before, Father God. Pour into me. Father God, help me not to pour out. Father God, too much. Father God, help me not to be empty in this season, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I ask you to begin to just cover this shot. We bind up spamming, we bind up trolling, we bind up cyberbullying, and we bind up any type of technical difficulties. I love you. I bless your name. You're worthy. And your son, Jesus, now I pray this prayer. Amen. 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 Good morning, all my amazing family. I have the best. Do I have the best family here? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have to give a round of applause because we have the best family in the building. If you are in this chat right now, you are the best family. And I have to give you this right here. <laughs> I gotta say that. I have to give you what I have to give you what is due to you. You give honor where honor is due. You are the best family ever. And I thank y'all for being the best family ever. I can't do this without you guys. Thank y'all for coming in here. Thank y'all for your encouraging words. Thank you for just the support. Y'all have no idea. 
give yourself a pat on the back. And I had to give y'all a round of applause because y'all deserve it. This morning, we're making these amazing prayer squares. They're like a, a cross square. They are a uh, prayer square. So these are going to be fun. I, I, I need to see what Crojo is doing. I, I, I don't know if Crojo is doing this or not. I don't know if she's Crojo. We love Crojo. She does a lot of different things for the community. So we do love Crojo. Um, and so I want to see if she is doing, she's, she has her next project. And I'm not sure if this is the project. Because I, I promise you, some of this is like, let's check and see what Crojo is doing. Um, because I don't know what she's doing. She has something for us to do uh, for the community, for those who want to tap into it. Uh, let me see here. This is a hug heart. Okay, so it's a hug heart. Cool, cool, cool. So that's not what we're doing. So we're going to do the hug heart tomorrow. We'll do the hug card tomorrow. That's cool. I'm just glad and making sure that um that we did I didn't do what she's doing. Okay, so cool, cool, cool. So tomorrow we'll do the hug card from Crow Joe Corner. She's doing some things we can donate to the community. This right here, this project is in the community. It's in my uh description. I'll drop it here. What's so fun about these prayer squares? You can give them out to people in your church. If you ever want to make like a prayer uh prayer shawl, good morning, everybody. I love you. I'm gonna greet everybody. Nana Michelle, love you so much, bro. Brian, love you, bro. Brian, you know he just had a birthday, y'all. Uh, so he, he getting old on us, y'all. He ain't getting old on us. Uh, he just his numbers are increasing, but his spirit is so youthful and uh, he's very uh, energetic and he's filled with just, he just he, no matter what he's going through, he just loves show some love to somebody else. So shout out to you, bro, Brian. I love you so much. Victoria Kid, Jolene. You know I love my Jolene. Uh Kristen, you better get in here. Um, Victoria, Ariel, y'all, sis Marshall, Beverly Lee. You know I love my Beverly Lee. Um, I, everybody in the building. I love all y'all seeing stages. That's my sis Marshall Lee. Y'all says Laura P is in the building. Everybody in the building. I love y'all. Good morning, Miss Kenneth. Kennedy, my husband, you know, my husband in the building, y'all, he always going to be here in support. And I, I don't care uh, if, if, hey, if it was a tornado, he's still better trying to find some reception and get out there. He'll be sw swirling around that airplane. I mean, in the tornado, trying to trying to make sure he see me. Uh, so, shout out to my husband. <laughs> and he'll be in the air, hey, he will be in the tornado, okay, swirling around the cyclone. So, I'm, I'm here, baby. I'm here. So, <laughs> shout out to my husband. <laughs> Shout out to my husband because I don't know what time we're going to be live today. If he's going to do live, it's Tuesday. So, I usually go live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But I know he's going to be live tonight at 6.30 Eastern. We can watch him bowl. Yeah, last night was awesome. He did great bowling. I was able to go to the bowling alley last night with him. It's been a while, so it felt good to go there and, and to be there with the family and to, to cheer him on and to watch him. It was a blessing. So if you don't have my husband, please go grab him up. His command is exclamation mark Joe, and you will definitely enjoy his channel because he is a blessing to be around. So go, go check him out and enjoy him. Last night we were able to do a, sh a show uh, Triple C and Joe show where you guys have been asking us questions. So we were able to ask questions. It was awesome just to go back and forth and say, hey, you know, to get those different opinions and those questions and things. It was fun. So if you don't have him, please go grab him up and enjoy him. We have my sister Sylvia. But sister Sylvia, you better get in here, sister Sylvia. If you don't have sister Sylvia, what are, you, what are you eating for? Go grab her. We love you so much. We also have the amazing Sunfire. Sis Ashley, I'm going to work on the video again. I got a little discouraged because Sis Ashley, the video was great. I uploaded the video and it was like, I said, oh. That's what since Ashley, I'm editing. I don't know what's going. Since I need to find you, and we're gonna. You guys need you to teach me. Just teach me. Um, uh, but seriously, I was working on a beautiful video for since Ashley, y'all, and I got to do it over again. I'm trying to upload on a computer this time. I don't know, Lord, because I just it got me a little discouraged. I said, Lord, I'm trying to work hard, Lord. <laughs> We also have OM Granny. OM Granny's in the building. Y'all, if y'all have OM Granny, guys, OM Granny just had a birthday Sunday, y'all. Did y'all know this? We was, we was cheering on last night, wasn't we? Her and Brooke Granny had a birthday together. Her and Brooke Granny have a birthday together, y'all. And so the fact that they have a birthday together is like amazing. I'm just like, really? They got a birthday together? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And um, I'm just like, that is so amazing the fact that they have a birthday together and uh, on the same day. And uh, it just feels good to just just to celebrate. And speaking of birthdays, y'all, this young man is still blessing his soul and seedings on his birthday month, y'all. I'm so truly grateful for the prayers you have been you mean, uh you have me a month ago. I have been blessed. What? To God be the glory. So God be great. Yeah, if y'all ever have prayer requests, y'all can always shoot them to me either email or you can shoot them to me in the live stream, wherever you want to do. Ursula, we love you so much. Ursula, how you doing? How you doing, Ursula? I gotta send you a birthday gift. I gotta send send a birthday gift to you. So I'll be sending that to you today. Uh, if y'all have Ursula, O M Granny Square is her channel, and her command is exclamation mark O M G. And um, also we'll be visiting her house this Friday. And on Monday morning, she's usually live too. So if you don't have her, go be a blessing to her and go enjoy her channel, guys. Um, Ursula is so sweet, very breath, breath, fresh breath of fresh air. She does have a pattern that's on sale to the end of this month, guys. We have about I don't know how many days left, about eight days. I don't know how many days is in this month, but we do have some days left. And so, please, if you haven't purchased our pattern yet, what are you waiting for? Go purchase our pattern, guys. Mr. Fullness in the building, you better get in here. 
Okay, you said yes. Okay, you got a pro oh, April 10th for me, a next round. What? Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Fortnite. She's going to be on TV. I know you listen to all that. I'm going to get you right. I'm going to get you right. Guys, if you don't have sunflower, go grab her up, guys. This is just actually, I'm going to have to go and decorate these, uh, uh, what is this called? Night box. I'm going to on my phone and decorate and put some emojis and some sunflower all around. It's going to be boop, boop, boop. We're going to get it together, y'all. Good morning, Oreo. Oreo, you better get Oreo. This is my favorite cookie, y'all. When I need milk or when I have milk, I just have to have Oreos with it. I can't even, I don't even eat cereal anymore because all I want to use my milk for is dipping of Oreo. If you don't have Oreo, go grab her. I'm going to be a blessing to her. I love you so much. Says Oreo. You know I love me some Oreo. Also, we have the amazing Dijanae in the building. Says Dijanae, says Deborah. Love y'all. Good morning. We're about to start this crap, guys. We're doing some prayer some prayer squares, y'all. So instead of doing like a prayer shawl, you know how we do the prayer shawl ministry? It sometimes it takes forever. You be like, I want to bless somebody with a shawl on. We got Car Karen Boo. Hey, you better get in here, Karen Boo. Karen Boo. Karen Boo, I love you, my Karen Boo. Oh, I love the way you walk. I love the way you talk. I love the way you walk. I love the way you talk, my carrot boo. Hey, carrot boo, y'all better, better grab a carrot boo. Her command is exclamation mark carrot. No, it's not. Guys, let's just get to the crabs because I will do this all day. Guys, her command is exclamation mark boo because she's my, my boo. Shout out to carrot boo. Y'all, if y'all bless her, go bless her. Go bless her in this season because she's amazing. Carrot boo, do you got something new? Guys, this is what I've been sipping on. Guess what I've been sipping? For those who want to know, what is triple C? Triple C, when you are not live and you're not drinking your coffee or espresso and you're going a little bit haywire because you're amping on caffeine, what do you like to sip on your spare time? Da -da -da! Box water, because box water is better. <laughs> no, they're not sponsoring this, but I watched one of my favorite people drink some of this and I said, you know what? I am a leader, but sometimes I like to follow. You can't be a good leader if you don't know how to follow, right? So I watched her sip some of this water out of the box, and I was very impressed. Definitely enjoy a bit of box water, guys. If you haven't tried it, you better try it. Guys, this, this water is phenomenal, okay? So you never know they might sponsor. Hold on, let me, let me look, keep what I'm drinking. Hmm. Now, seriously, you never know. You guys, you never know who wants to sponsor you. So look good while you're sponsoring. But anyways, guys, seriously. Very good. I don't know if it holds the flavor very well. I don't know what it is. But what you're going to do is make sure it's chilled, shaken, not stirred. Very, very good. Very, very good. Uh, so we're going to start doing this. But again, you want to make a, you want to make something? Look, Joe said last night, he said, what, what kind of cookie is Oreo? Is she a snickerdoodle or a chocolate chip? I said, she Oreo. <laughs> She's an Oreo. It was so funny. We just sat and laughed. Like, it was just like super hilarious. You say you never seen that box water? Yeah, that box water. Guys, yes, yeah, the box water. The box water. It's box water. Oh, seriously. You say hello on the side. All right, guys. So let's get into this crap. But seriously, you know, some of us want to make prayer shots for family, but you know, prayer shots take some time. They do. They take some time, and it, it, it's, it's some time. And, and me, I, I don't mind making a shawl, but Lord, it takes some time. And, and usually, when we make a shawl. Some people we do got family members who make shawls with, you know, like maybe the thicker yarns, and, and it still can look great. But for me, I like a shawl yarn, or like a thin yarn, or like a fine yarn. And if it's a fine yarn, it's gonna take me some fine amount of time to get that thing done. So I decided to I decided sometimes not to make many shawls. But this right here is a prayer square. So it's basically a, a, a shawl in a square form. And they can put in a pocket, they can put in a purse. But the fun thing about this pattern, which Remington Lane sent us, which is amazing, we love it, Remington, because Remington shots you for his pattern because it comes with little bitty labels and stickers or you can make them into stickers. All you do is print them on sticker paper. But you can, um, these are actually like little labels and they have a little prayer on them. So you can bless somebody at the church if you're doing things outreaching. You can have these cute little squares with a prayer on it. Boop, put in a little ziplock. Boop, 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 hand them out for fun. So, Crojo, if you ever watch this, this could be another thing that you do for your, um, for your, your um, what is it called? For your donatings. All right. So let me put today's craft in the chat and we're about to have fun. Okay. Today's craft. Today I'm in my office and wearing yarn, but no hooks help me. Look. Oh my goodness, I want to be in my office. My office, I, I miss my office because I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the juice is flowing in the office. It's something about the office time where you're there. And like, I need to start being, especially when my husband is working now, like, I need to be in the office. But like, sometimes, but if I it's starting in springtime, so it might be better. It might be better outside. I mean, down there. But I, I like it because you know what I'm saying? I want to start sewing a little bit. I want to bring a little fabric. I got the big cricket. You know, like, you can do everything. Like, right here, I can't do all that. I'm like, that's why I'm like, that's why I'm like doing crafts. I tear up the living room all the time, y'all. Like, I'm done tearing the living room, y'all. I ain't doing that no more. I'm gonna tore this living room up again. Help me, Lord. <laughs> I'm gonna tore it up again, y'all. Jesus. I'm gonna tore it up again. I gotta wait for my daughter to get out of college to help me get it back together, Lord. The boys ain't helping me, Lord. They don't want to help. Just wanna go outside and play all day and play video games. 
Yeah, my lord. Okay, but anyways, guys, let's get into the craft for today. Let's have some fun, y'all. I hope you guys are ready to craft with me. You ready to craft with me? Say craft. We better have fun. It's a Bible stitch. Uh, so I, I've never done it before, guys. I've never even looked at the pattern. I just got faith in the Lord, the Lord, their God. Hallelujah. Because um, I feel like he's going to get us through this pattern on the day. Because I ain't never did it. I don't know what it looked like. I don't know what it feel like. I don't even know what it sound like. But we're going to try it out today. Let's see what's gonna happen. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. He said, "Let me do some finger rolling." <laughs> Guys, this is our family right here, y'all. We we have a ball together, y'all. We have a ball together. Let's try it Tuesday. I don't know what we're trying, y'all. Do y'all got an idea? We're trying to see me try tonight. Do y'all got an idea? Last week we tried tofu. The tofu tacos were fire, correct? Welcome in, Nancy, for being here and watching while you're doing some stuff. Get your stuff on. I'm trying to get myself set up so we can work on this cross, Lord. I think this will be so fun to give away to people. Like you know what I'm saying? Like little, you know. Bust somebody with some this one young lady, y'all. I'm not bust telling her business because I don't. I really don't believe in that because my business has been told when I didn't ask for it to be told, and and so I'm not going to uh, tell her. I'm, I'm going to tell her business a little bit of her business, uh, but I'm not going to. You know, nobody knows who she is, and I'm not going to display any names. But there was a lady, young lady, I did minister to, and I wasn't planning on ministering. Um, my mother and I were getting grabbing grabbing a bit of gas. Good morning, chocolate can I? Can you got your merch that can't wait to wear? You got your hoodie. Oh, I'm gonna get here. Y'all got hoodies and stuff with my name and stuff on there. This is fire. This is a five millimeter hook, y'all, and some uh Kieran Simply Soft. Now you can use any type of worship weight yarn you want, but for this pattern, they like this Kieran Simply Soft because I felt like it got the sheen to it. So this it looks real nice with a little sheen, but you can use whatever you want. Um, so let's get into it. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy to hear about it. Thank you so much, Candy, for buying my merch, man. That's that speaks volumes. When y'all start buying merch, like, I didn't know people was going to buy my merch. I just put it up there, Lord. You know, so that speaks volumes when you guys can do that. And uh, I knew, like the fact that they got the afterpay. You know what I'm trying to say? You watch my you crochet? I like the fact that they be having, like, the afterpay and stuff now um, where you can just, you don't got to pay full prices and stuff like that. I love that. That's, like, a lot. You know, that's a lot, guys. So, um, I appreciate that. So, that's why you're going right there. All right, guys. So, we're about to get into... Um, this right here, this crap time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, first I got to go ahead and get into the streamyard.com, right? All right, so everybody's doing good. Okay, so it was on fire. Yes, you got my... Okay, everybody's doing good. Everybody's doing good to each other. Do, 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 do. All right, cool. So everybody's happy. Everybody's great. So what, anybody working on a thing this morning? Oh, bro, Brian ain't still super... Okay, bro, we got to get hyped in the chat. My bro was over here busting me, and I didn't even get hyped the first time, bro. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, bro. Bro said, like, did you forget? Hey, this is the I love you so much, bro. I'm forgetting, I was like, bro. I didn't forget, you know me, bro. I do this, bro. Tell us your stuff. Yeah, yeah, thanks so much. Thank you, bro. I love you. Oh my gosh, bro. Brian, one of a kind vlogs. My final spot member. His command is exclamation mark vlog. Can we please go be a blessing to him? He just turned a big five zero, and I'm not saying it in a bad way because my dad didn't make it there. So I love that number. I love it. You know, so y'all go bless him and be a part of his family, y'all. He's working on 1K, and we're going to be seeing him get there very shortly. So he, please be a blessing and watch out for his channel. Watch out for the things he does for others, and he brings a lot of encouragement. I mean, sometimes you might be having a downtime, but he goes over there, and he can go over there and be blessed by music and fun and just excitement. And he does a lot of educational. When it was Black History Month, y'all, I learned so much from just going to his channel. It was always a good time. And so I appreciate you, bro, Brian. I love you, and I thank you. And I appreciate that. I don't take you lightly, bro. Thank you for coming in this chat, and you just saturated this chat with so much scripture. When you're not here, it's a difference being felt. But I understand that you got to take care of health. You got pops to take care of, and you do need some you time. And I appreciate you for being here. I don't take you lightly. I know, I know. Um, I, I just wanted to tell you thank you, and I appreciate you. Okay, bro, I love you. And uh, we got Evangelist Nancy. But you better get in here, Evangelist Nancy. Thank you for being here. Let's get hype in the chat. And we're going to start crafting. Shout out to Bro Brian again for that super chat. Both of those super chats. I love you, bro. And y'all, please grab them up. Y'all grab this young man of God. Y'all will definitely enjoy his channel. All right. We'll be right back after this, guys. Super chat boy, super chat boy, super 
chat, boy. Hands up. Super chat, boy. Hey, super hey, chat. Hey. I saw, I saw Come a super Let's chat. Go. Let's I saw, I saw a super Me. chat. Let's I saw, I saw a super chat. Make I it saw, rain. I saw hey. a super In the chat. Yeah. Let's go. Super chat, boy. Super chat. Super chat, girl. Super chat. Super chat, boy. Super chat. Make it rain. Hey, make it rain. Hey, make it rain. Shout out to Bro Brian who just came in and made it rain. If you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, please, what are you waiting for? Hit the thumbs up and don't forget to please make sure you share this stream out. We are going to be making some prayer squares. And this is so awesome for those, like I said, who've been wanting to make prayer shawls for so many people in your ministry, at your churches, blessing the homeless, but you have no time to make a full shawl. You either make crochet slow, you may have orders and things of that sort, or you may not have the patience and you want to bless many people. These prayer squares are so firecracker and we're going to do them today. So I ask you, please grab your size four millimeter, uh, your size four yarn, worsted weight yarn, either be whatever you choose. This designer did use like a Karen simple soft something with a bit of sheen and your five millimeter hook. So let's get started to this craft and let's have some fun. Thank you so much. May God bless your C1 million fold, bro, Brian and everybody in the building. If you're here, you are sowing a seed of time and I cannot ever pay you that back. So thank you for giving it to me on today. All right. So what we're going to do now is get into our craftery, guys. So let's have some fun with this. I'm ready to excited about trying it out. Crojo Corner also will be doing some things for the homeless and different uh, to be able to bless. So if you want to send some things in tomorrow, we'll be able to start her craft with this craft on today. It is in the community tab. I will go ahead and um, let me go ahead and do this right here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and. Do today's craft, which it says today's craft here. Today's craft. It actually has some printables. It actually has some printable, um, some printable uh, labels. If you guys want to print them off, it's like you make these for somebody and they want to have a, a sweet little label to go with it. You can print them off and bless them with that too. So you can put like a little Ziploc baggie, sandwich bag, snack bag, and put the square in there. And then you can also bless someone at the same exact time. So let's get started with our craft on the day. I hope you guys are having a beautiful morning. A beautiful morning. I hope you guys are. That's all I can say. I hope your morning is going great. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera. Get my camera switched around. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, guys. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And we're gonna go from there. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, my husband just came in with a super chat. Thank you so much, honey. I love you. I appreciate you. Elvis, all she makes is so cute. Yes, I gotta go see. I just saw them. I didn't get to see them yet. Thank you, honey, for that super chat. I love you. My husband just came in with a super chat, guys. Um, if y'all have him, please grab him up and go love on him, y'all. He's gonna be live tonight at 6 30 p.m. Eastern, so we get to watch him bowl. And so many of y'all have been watching him bowl. Like they're getting close to the end of the bowling. So we're talking about championship, y'all. Championship rings. Uh, so shout out to my husband. I appreciate you. The only gold I need. <laughs> if y'all don't have him, please grab him up, guys. He's driving, he's working right now, but he's supporting at the same time. And dropping those super chats. So you know, hey, he not look hey, I like the rain. I like the rain in the chat, y'all. And I love a little bit of rain. Hey, sometimes people don't like rain, but I don't mind I don't mind a little rain, y'all. I'm just throwing out there. Um, you might be with me, but I, I don't mind a little rain. Um, sometimes all rain ain't bad, Lord. Sometimes you get a rain that rain me, rainbow coming. Anyways, y'all, don't pay attention to me. I'm a bit silly, but I like to be happy. Uh, and I understand happiness don't always come, especially when it gets taken and gets stole from me. So, hey, I ain't letting it get stole from me no more. So I just, I'm walking in it. I'm walking in that thing. I'm walking on sunshine. Anyway, that's another story because every time I think about it, I think about this young lady who was addicted to um, the uh, spray air. That's another story too. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get to this craft on today. Thank you all for being here. We're going to have some fun this morning. We're gonna have some fun this morning. All right, let me get this screwed in right. But this thing always acts up. We have its own mind of its own. But if you do want to use any of the products that I use, I do keep them in my description box so you guys can. And even it might, it might even say when you watch this, it might say the products used in this video. So yeah, come on over and see what I'm using so y'all can be able to use some of this stuff. Tope, tabletop. And this is my small one. I have a small one and I have a tall one. So you can have both of those. I need to get my light too that I use too. Okay, let's go. 
Let me mute everything, guys. All right, so we're in the building, guys. Come on in here. Yeah, that's spray air is hilarious, guys. Yes, that's right. That's it. Happiness only. That's what I'm talking about. Team Happy, baby. We're Team Happy. Team Happy, if y'all lurking, I love y'all. I miss my Team Happy. I, team Happy to be coming in. It just bring a burst of energy when they come. Nana Donna, I love you, Nana Donna. All right, let's get into the square blanket. I mean, square bubbles. So let's get into the bubble. Then. Again, uh, it's in the description box. So you guys ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, let's see. There's some notes here about stitches. I've worked on the wrong side. Do a chain one at the beginning of each row. It's not kind of a stitch. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's get into it. We're going to start with a chain of 10, which I like this pattern because it is really short and sweet. You know I like my quick post you? you know I ain't driving. I need something quick, Lord. So let's get some quick stuff in. Let's do it, guys. Let's get into the quickables. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do some quick things. Okay, so let me just turn this camera a little bit to me. Slide some oil to me. Fly some oil to me, to me, I need my oil on. I need some oil, I need some oil. Okay. All right, guys, so let's get into this craft we're doing this morning. Good morning, everybody. It's been since then, as long as we wake up this morning, no matter what our situation, so I'm talking about, we should be happy and grateful. You know what I'm trying to say? But you know the enemy, he'll come in, he'll come in in our sleep, he'll come in when we first wake up, give us a headache, all kinds. Like, he'll come in, give us a stomach ache, whatever. I used to wake up like that. I used to be wake up so, so mean. So me ain't the ain't they gave God no glory for waking me up. I used to be so mean. Oh my God, I gotta wake up early. I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. I used to be so look, and he made me. That's how I know it's God because I was not a morning, I was never a morning person. And he made me do a craft hour. I was like, God, craft hour. I'm gonna be sleeping an hour. <laughs> like playing sleep hour. No, but I was really because I never I didn't like waking up early in the morning. So he was like, Well, <laughs> I got something for you. And it's been almost it's been over a year, y'all been doing this, y'all. So let's do, um, we got turn, let's do 10, I said 10, let's do 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Good morning, NASA, good morning, Nessa. good morning, Sabrina, how you doing? If you want to do the crab, it's in the community, it's in the about to have a community, no, it's not, it's in the description, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. All right, so we have 10 chains here, guys, we're doing some prayer squares, these are some things you can give out to the community, young youth, young adults, whoever you want to give, so just give them something on all right, so now what we're going to do is we're single crochet in the chain, second chain from hook and all the way across, okay? Very, very easy. Um, and just have some fun. Size four millimeter, size four yarn and um, a size five millimeter hook. Yes, I'm using five millimeter for those who know their colors of clover or more. This is 5.5, but I just just don't pay attention. Don't do, don't do what I do. Just do what you're supposed to do, y'all. Uh -huh, okay, because I've been doing a little make doing lately. Jolene going to say, you're doing a Dana Flair. Dana Flair. Hey. Good morning, everybody. It's in the building. Oh, I don't like waking up either, but he's got me up. I know what I'm saying. Like, if you if it's, tell him what you don't like. Go ahead, tell him what you don't like. I promise you, he's going to get you out of that comfort zone. He's going to be like, oh, okay, you like this? Okay, daughter, son, whoever. And I'm telling him, he will do it. I promise you he will. So we're going to do another roll of this. It's going to be a single crochet again, guys. So this is very easy. Okay. God is awesome. He is awesome. He is awesome. He'll, he'll pull things out of us we never knew we had in us. That's what, you know, like when we kids, you know, for those who have guardians and parents or teachers, you know, because it's, it's somebody, you know, sometimes about, oh, man, my mom wasn't nothing, my daddy wasn't nothing, my uncle wasn't nothing. We have somebody who was something. God's going to send somebody to us. It depends on now if we're going to accept them or we're going to reject them. God sent people, even when this is adults, who are like, man, I need this, I need that. And it might be somebody you really know, never really thought you could get along with. You know what I'm trying to say? And maybe he sent he sent them there to pray for you. He sent them there to just bless you. He sent them there to sing to encourage you. You like why these people keep coming around? Oh, I cannot stand. Like I'm not I'm not saying nobody said it. I'm just I'm just speaking. I don't know if it's ever happened to anybody, but like man, they just keep they will not leave me alone. They will not leave. Wow, I'll be trying to just let them know nicely. They can go on about their business, and they still keep coming back. God will send people. He will send people. So. Um and and you might have somebody who was to start seeing like man you ever you ever did this you'd be like no have you ever anybody ever like try to pull something out of you you'd be like have you ever did this and you'd be like no I never did that man I could see you doing it and you'd be bad in the spirit with that you'd be like oh, okay whatever and, you know but but God will send people to to pull things out of you that you never knew you had because He know what He we got in us so He send people that, you know what I'm saying it's the hey, go over there you got the resources to do it go over there and tell your sister and brother and go let them know what I told you to tell them. And uh, next thing you know, we have to pray and we never pray. We have to evangelize and we never did that. We have to speak God's word and never did that. Uh, not everybody supposed to do that, but I'm just saying for the things that we're supposed to do, he'll send people to help us, to push us in that direction. And not only just to push us there, but he'll actually help to support us to keep it going. So that way we don't get weary in our well-doing. 
because we'll be, uh, you know, we'll be fellowshipping with others who are doing the same thing and we can be able to speak on, you know, ways to keep going and uh, effective ways to make sure it's, it's done, his word is done, his will is done. Next question. Let's, next question. I'm questioning. It's not questioning. It's the third row. Third row, we're going to chain one. And we're going to uh, do four single crochet. So let's get into it, guys. You know, I can yap all morning. I missed y'all yesterday because I had a day off. Uh, and, and and so I'm just yapping and stuff like that. But it's a chain of, we're going to do four single crochet. I'm sorry I missed y'all yesterday. Told you, my family. I don't think I wasn't. I was definitely missing you guys, okay? So we have three single crochets. Let's do four. We're going to have four here now. Now that we have four, guys, we're going to go ahead and do a bobble stitch. And then we're going to do four singles, okay? So let's get into the bobble work, all right? So we're going to yarn over just like so. This is how we're going to do our bobble. Now, everybody's bobble is different. Because some people like to do a bit of a thicker Bible, some people like to do a puffier Bible, a bit, you know, just depending on the stitch and, and what you're doing. So what we're gonna do is just do this, which is yarning over, inserting our hook, yarn over here and pulling up and pulling through two. So we want to continue doing this, and they want us to do it until we have four loops, okay? Because this is like a fairly small little project. So they want the biggest, biggest of Bible. They want like a small, medium, small Bible. But anyway, so this is what we're gonna have. We should have four of these, and they just want us to go ahead and do a just pull it through like so, okay? All the information is right there in the description, all right? And everything's right there, so you guys can grab it. So this is what it's going to look like. They didn't say do a chain afterwards, so this, we're going to just have a little bobble there, and we're going to continue to single crochet at the end, okay? And, and just going to go over here like so, okay? Just like so. And uh, there we go, all right? So let's get this back. And now what we're going to do is it says repeat row two. So the thing about doing these bobble stitches, guys, you're going to have different... You love bobbles, do you? I do a bobble blanket, guys. It's crazy. So the thing about these bobbles is whenever row you're doing a bobble on, just say you have to do a bobble row, the next row is going to be single crochet because your bobbles have to be on one side only. So you're not going to have, you're not going to do a turn into a bobble because this is not, you know what I'm saying? You have every other row is a bobble row. Every other row is a single crochet row. So that's one thing about bobbles. So chain one, now we're just going to do single crochets all the way across. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to worry about anything else. It's just going to be a single crochet row. And the next row is going to be a bobble row, okay? So it's very, very simple. I hope you guys try this pattern out and enjoy it. Um, and, and just go from there. It should be nine stitches, guys. So, And I like this. I like small patterns like this, guys. This is something super fun. You know what I'm trying to say? This is something super fun we can bless a lot of people with. And I like this pattern because I'm telling you, they come with labels that we can bless people with a prayer on a label. So you're, you're going to be able to have something to pass on. You want me to make something that's really quick. You can make one with your scrap yarn. Welcome in, Minister Music. I love you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in the building. Um, but yeah, so this is so good that you can just bless people with this, like, you know, outreach, this is outreach, y'all, so you never know, maybe I'll just take them to the church and just have some fun, we've been doing some outreaching and stuff too, so here we go, guys, here we go with this next thing, here we go, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do the row five, and it says re repeat row three, so we're going to, are we just doing one, Bible? okay, we're going to do one more Bible, okay, so we're going to sing crochet four, and then do a Bible, and then sing crochet. Oh, yeah, it says, yes. Ministry Music is having a party this weekend, y'all. For those who didn't know, he's celebrating uh, 4K subscribers and three years of YouTube. That's right, y'all. I don't know what it's like to be a three-year YouTuber yet, but he does. And so congratulations, Ministry Music, for being YouTubing for three years, ministering for three years online. Uh, that That's a big, big thing. Um, so if you don't have him, grab him up. And it's going to be this Saturday, uh, 5 p.m. Central and 6 p.m. Eastern. Or we can go over there and just be a blessing to him. So if you haven't subscribed to his channel, why not? Also, he's going to be doing lots of cash giveaways. So if you haven't joined his membership, I would say join it so that way you can be guaranteed to be eligible. He's going to do some giveaways for those who are not members too. But if you are a member, just for 99 cents, you can really be, you can get all the giveaways. Couldn't that be amazing to have so many opportunities to be in there just for $1, just a bless. Uh, so go check him out and enjoy his channel. Uh, after this, we'll be doing some praise and worship and, um, it's going to be a good time. So we'll check them out and enjoy his channel, guys, and be a blessing in this season. So now we're doing this, guys. The Bibles are here. I wish they would have just, I wish they would have just let me have a little bit more, like a chain afterwards, guys. I mean, okay, I can still see the Bible. Can y'all still see it? I can still see it, right? I still see my Bible on. I feel the rain. All right, I still see the Bible, guys. So now we're just going to do, that was a Bible row. So now it's a single crochet row. All right? It's, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. I don't know how many rows you got to do this. Let me see how many rows. Okay. They, they got me looking. We got, uh, 11 rows, did triple. That's all you guys, 11 rows. Oh, yeah, this is so easy. What okay, y'all? We got to move. Let's move. Let's let me, guys. We got guys. This is this is um, 11 rows, and we are on row what? What row are we on? Three, I mean, five. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Is we on row six? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 
I don't know what row are we on, guys. Okay, I think we're on row six now because I just kind of let me count better, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're on row six, guys. Okay. <laughs> He said, yeah. everybody's loving each other in the chat. He said, dance, can I come up and dance at the party, Lord? So, yes, Jason, I come get you. <laughs> Jason, I come get your dancing shoes on. Oh my gosh. Y'all are hilarious. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me see. Mm, I'm missing anybody. Everybody's saying congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Let's, let's, let's give honor where honors do. We we sit up on each other all the time and it just feels good to be able to see our family growing. You know what I'm trying to say? That's what you got real fam. I, I went to several monetization parties over the years. I went to several parties over the years and I watched people call people on a panel, sit there to rejoice with each other. And I watched people just be filled with such a nasty spirit over them while their friends and families began to make milestones. And it hurts to see that because when we have family like what we got, our family don't grow alone. Our family don't grow on their own. Our family acknowledge each other and they like, oh, hey, I'm growing, we're going to grow together. But sometimes people just operate in such jealousy and enviousness that they can't even rejoice for their family, the family that blessed them, the family that fed them, the family that poured into them. And now as they turn to grow into to, to be acknowledged, people can't even do it back. And I heard about, man, why you can't acknowledge me? I mean, you don't, gotta, you don't have to do anything. But it just, for me, it's a common sense thing. Uh, that's just me, but it's just a bust. And shout out to everybody who can congratulate in the season. Because I, I did come from a place where I couldn't, and, and there was a season where I couldn't. Because I wasn't willing to grow. So I, I had a little hate in my blood. I ain't no hater no more, though. Hey, I ain't no hater no more, Lord. Okay. Uh, so now we're on row seven. We're going to chain one. And we're going to single crochet two of them. Okay, we're going to single crochet two. And now we're going to do a Bible link. We're going to do a Bible. Bible, baby. Bible, baby. Okay, I'm done. Let's do Bible. We're just Bible. That's all we're doing. We're going to Bible just like so. All right. Uh, and now that we're Bible, we're going to do us. Two single crochets, Bible. And then we're going to do a single crochet here. And then we're going to, ooh, they got me working. They got me reading real hard. Okay. So single crochet is Bible. Single crochet, here goes a Bible. And they got me doing Bible. That's the Bible members, Bible member ministry. All right. So we do the Bible, Bible. We can do that Bible. All right. Here goes the Bible. Here goes another Bible. And now we should have, Bible. Should we have three Bibles total. Okay. So now we're going to do a single crochet. All right. And then a Bible here. Uh, okay, I got it right. Because I was like, I messed up in front of everybody. Y'all know I be messing up. I have some epic fails on here. I be epic failing. I be epic failing. All right, so there we go. And now, if anybody got any announcements, because we forgot it's not Monday, and we didn't get to do no announcements or anything. Anybody have any announcements I might have missed? We do know Free Handling on the 29th is going to be doing, I feel like my Bible's going to be a little snugger. Mm, oh, what? Jesus. Okay, but anyway, it's going to work. It's going to be all right. Okay, but, um, Free Hanley on the 29th, guys, we're going to be blessed with Free Hanley, who is going to be doing an amazing giveaway and a celebration of 1K subscribers. Can we celebrate? Shout out to Free Hanley who's doing that. Also, I did say for those who will share our Ministry Music's um, reminder, every time we share it out, I'll put you on a wheel. So on the 28th, I'll be doing the giveaway for that. So if you have not shared on your community tab yet, we ain't waiting for it. Go share it. Um, and we can begin to bless each other. Let's, let's do it in this season. So congratulations to Free Handley for that 1K. Uh, everybody who's growing, guys, we're going to be celebrating Bro Brian's 1K pretty soon. Uh, my husband's working on that 2K. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of family members working on some goals. I'm working on uh, 14K. When is it? 14K, Lord, can I get there? Jesus. Um. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm super excited. This is going to be a single crochet round, guys. We're, we're building up our cross now. Our cross is looking crossing. Okay. It's looking crossing. Well, that was row seven, and now we're in row eight, which I just finished. <laughs> so now we're in row nine, Lord. Um, so let's go and see what we're doing. Row two, row two. They say row two. That's my Baltimore, 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 Baltimore. Uh, that's row two, which is single chain. So now we're going to go to row three. Never heard of a prayer square, and I like that. It's a quicker the way of passing the prayer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes, yeah, Sabrina, that's why I'm with. I'm with you on that. Chain one. That's when I'm with you on that, Sabrina. I'm like, man, you know, you want to bless somebody, but you don't got time to make a whole shawl. Like, the shawls take some time, you know? So you can bless them with this, and then it comes with a prayer. It comes with a prayer um, label that you can just put them right in a Ziploc bag and bless them. You know what I'm trying to say? Bless them. You can bless the homeless, the hungry. You can bless anybody. People at the gas station. You know what I'm saying? Just bless somebody. Put them in your purse, have a little bag full. Whenever you feel like you like, man, I just made up. I just sat at home, watched my favorite TV show, drank a little coffee and my tea, and I made up a few prayer crosses. I feel like these need to be a little snugger, but 
probably because I use a bigger hook possibly. But anyways, um, when you, you know, you made a few of them up, let's go, let me go put somebody, you know? So one, two, three, four, and now we're going to do a Bible here. And this is very easy, y'all. It's very, very easy. I hope you guys make some of these up because I, I think I'm going to make some of these up just for fun. I like it because I always want to make like prayer. So I always want to make something like, like that to help somebody else and to like, encourage somebody. But those shawls are like, the shawls can kind of be a little discouraging, y'all. If y'all don't like, if y'all make shawls all the time or you don't got no time, mm, shawl, oh, Jesus, I'm going to be honest. Like shawls, like they don't, when I think about making a shawl, it doesn't like tickle my fancy to the point where I'm like, oh, I'm going to make a shawl. Like eventually one day I want it to be that, but it, it does not. It don't give me like excited, like, oh man, a shawl and we will go. Like that don't it don't do that for me because I know it's gonna take some time. And so I just I want to. There's always a want, but there's not always a doing of the want. Um, but let's keep going. <laughs> let's see what we got next. Uh, we on row 10 already. You better do a triple, triple, triple. We're on row 10. I told you this how easy it is. This is so crazy. I think we're on row 10. Let me count. We don't know what you're talking about. I don't. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we're in row 10. Row 10 is going to be a single crochet row. I feel like we need another Bible row now. Like, I don't know. I said, love everyone I miss. I'm driving home today. driving along. Everybody in the building, guys. I love you guys. I hope I'm not missing out in your comments. But just know that I'm crocheting. I'm fine doing some work today, y'all. I missed out yesterday, so I'm trying to actually work. You know, so I'm actually working a little bit, y'all. But don't worry. I love you guys. If you guys have announcements, I'm going to read them and we're going to go from there. Okay, so we do have the Bible link, and it's a cross. But, oh, maybe the cross is supposed to be like, oh, let me see what the cross is, because y'all know how crosses look. Okay, it is supposed to be like this, y'all. This is it. Oh, this is so easy. Look, can y'all see the cross a little bit? She used to use a darker color. She used darker colors. I was thinking about using like a darker color, too, but I know how it's going to pop up. But anyway, you can do whatever color you want, guys, and make your Bibles a little better. But anyways, look at this. Can you see the cross? There's a cross there. Oh, this that's nice. I can see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. Also, Jolene said, I love you, Joe. Okay, look at that, y'all. So now we're on row 11, which is the last row, guys. And then we're going to do some border. So we're going to make it put it all together. The border is going to make it look delicious. So this is just a single crochet row, guys. We chained our one, turned it, and now we're just going to single crochet. Hey, Samantha, you better get in here. And a song, we will go. I feel bro wolf in the room. I just got the urge to hide. Get your home on. Home a little bit. But yeah, y'all, I'm telling you, like, when I think about Sean, hit the thumbs up if you guys can. You say, I, I have to get some fruit soon, though. I feel a fall about that. No, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Uh, my husband, he, he we working this thing together, trying to get our wakings up together. And he say he feel a fall about it. That means he feel like he about to eat some food or some, some bad food. Because, you know, he work all the time. And he got the restaurants calling his name, and he picks up food sometimes for others and blesses others. He do a lot. So I could imagine riding down the street smelling whiffs of fry, whiffs of burger, whiffs of Italian sandwiches, like uh, whiffs of pizza slices, whiffs of wingery. Like, I, I could imagine the smell and the aromas of fresh foodings daily. I, there will be a fall every time I every time I begin to walk. I will be stumbles. There will be fallings. There will be trippings because I love to snack. I'm a foodie. Uh, so I could only imagine what he's dealing with right now because I know if it had not been for the whew, Jesus on my side. I will be snacking daily and all the time, all the time. God is good. So now that we have this, we are officially done with this part. But what we want to do now is we want to begin with a bit of a border. We want to finish this strong with a border all the way around. And many of you have never tried this border, and some of you have. I enjoy doing this border on my on my ponchos. So I have poncho patterns, and this border is going to be one of my favorites, one of my signature borders I do around the edge of my border. It is a crab stitch or reverse sin crochet. If you have never tried this size, uh, it can be a little tricky in the beginning. Uh, it can be a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning. But again, once you get started, you can. Again, this is awesome because it's a cross. For those who have never made anything like this, you want to make some prayer shawls, but you want to don't have time. These prayer squares are phenomenal. They come with a label that you can print, put them in a Ziploc bag and pass them to your neighbor. Um, and so what we're going to do now is the reverse crab stitch. Let's do it. Or reverse crochet or crab stitch. So. What you want to start off with is you want to begin. We're going to actually just single crochet all the way around. Um, let me see. Chain one and uh, continue. All right. So what we're going to do is now we're going to chain one. And we're going to start single crocheting in the same stitch we just left off in. Just like this. All right. So this is it. This is the one. All right. All the way around. And just like so. That's the single crochet, right? And we're going to go backward doing it. So we're going to go here. 
All right, so we're going to go here and do it again. Just a single crochet. Same exact thing, but we're just going backwards. Now we're going to go here. See this right here? The same exact way. We're going to insert a hook, just like we're doing a single crochet. We're just doing it the backwards way. We're not going to the left. We're going to the right, just like so. See? We're going to the right. And so it's going to create a coiled edge. If I can get my hook in here. Kind of crochet a little snug. Um, but yeah, so it's just like a coiled edge. Um, and it's going to give it like a spiral. You know, have you ever spiral bound notebook? You guys know you love your spirals. Uh, and, and so it kind of gives it a spiral edging. I love it. So I like to do this around my con shows. I like to do it around certain things. Um, I do, I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Again, I'm loving this because guess what? Look how quick this was, guys. And if I wasn't gapping, we've got a lot more done. You can whip these babies up. I didn't realize how quick it was, even if it's a, it's a cross. It's something intricate. It's something fun. It's something quick, all in one. Like, this is crazy. You know, some of the other projects I thought would be a little quicker were not as quick. And this one is really a quick project. So in the corners, guys, you want to do a reverse single crochet, a chain one since we reached a corner, and then do another reverse right in that same one. Just kind of give it a little curve. So that way the it will kind of, you know, curve around a little bit nicer. All right. And then you're just going to go on the edge of each of these, end of these crochet, end of these rows. That's all you're doing. Nothing hard. Anybody else working on anything fun today? I see Mr. Music and uh, Bro Brian. They are showing love to each other in the chattery this morning. I, I appreciate the love. It's, it's always good to see some com camaraderie amongst the family in the chat. You know, even though we see each other all the time, multiple chats throughout the day. This is just it. This is it, you know? I mean, I could see you at this chat. I could see another chat. I'm still going to say hello. I don't, people always ask, is this etiquette? Like, if I just saw you in one chat, do I got to speak to you in the next one? Like, if we're just rating each other, do we got to speak again? I think we still do. I don't know if it's a necessary have to, a must, but I think we still do just because we're in a different house. You know what I'm trying to say? I think we just do that automatically. It's like, man, I just saw you over there already. I'm just me. Sometimes I, I just kind of do, I like to do blanketry. I'll be like, hey, everybody, love you all. Just because, you know, I'll do some working in the background for the most part. But then some people will start calling my name out and I'm like, do I have to say something back? I think I do. Like, you know, everybody start calling my name. I'm just like, hey, let me just say it back again. So I, I, I did say hello, everyone. So maybe there's repeat. You're just saying something to me. I don't know if I have to say something back or not, but. I still do anyways. But anyway, that's another story. I'm yappy. So now we have our edge. We have our spiraled edge. As you can see, that spiraling looking delicious. Um, we say, yes, I'm working now before coffee with... Okay, sorry, guys. And that it was a fiber thickling the nose. It wasn't my boogery. Uh, let's see. It says, going, I'm going to make some of these today. Yes, yeah, great yarn, scrap books. Yeah. Come on, Sabrina. This is so good for scrap busting. This is so good for just any type of crafting, busting others. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if you don't want to even, if you like are a shy person, you're like, mm, what if someone doesn't receive it? What if I try to go bust someone and they kind of throw it down or they look at me funny? This is something you can sit down. You know what I'm trying to say? This is something you can sit down and bust people. You can sit this down in certain areas. You know what I'm trying to say? I go to like gas stations. They always have these little knickknacks in the front of the gas station all the time. You know what I'm trying to say? Where, where the cookie basket is at? You can put this, somebody right in front of the cookie basket like that. Just leave them, let, let them have those in the air. Take a, take a prayer instead of a cookie this morning. Hey, you know, you might have been needing a prayer. Man, I need this prayer. What? And if you really are fancy, you might have your own prayers that you like to pray, and you can type them up and print them out in there, too. You know what I'm saying? I hope this day reaches you well. You know what I'm trying to say? Just know that you are loved. You know what I'm trying to say? Have you ever been told I love you today? Well, if you are receiving this prayer square, just know that I love you, and God does, too. Oh, oh, triple C, triple C, triple C, triple C. Guys, I'm telling you this week. It better guess it. Man, I don't know how I'm making ends meet, man, or... Man, my dog just died, or my my husband, my husband let my wife let me. They go there and get the prayers, the prayers. We're like, what is this? What's a little knickknack? Like, What's going on? A little knickknack? I was trying to get a cookie. Then I got knickknacks in the basket. Look over here. It's a prayer. It's a kind word of encouragement. They're like, God did it. God, you love me. Nah, I'm just around there. Y'all know me. I'm just, I'm just be thinking of some stuff because that would be me. Yeah, that would be me. I'm like, what? I'm over here trying to grab me a little cookie, a little rice krispie treat, you know, a little snicker, do a little biscotti. And I'm grabbing all these things right in this little basket, okay? But instead of that being in the basket, y'all, I'm going to find me some crochet in the... What is this yarn in it? First of all, I'm going to grab it out of here, not because... I mean, if I was a crafter, I'm going to grab it because I see yarn. But if I wasn't a crafter, I'm like, I'm looking for cookies, and I see this. And this is going to make me be like, what is this? What? You know, the average person is going to look and see what this is because it's not a cookie, because it don't belong. You're like, what is this? And next thing you know, hit them with that poop, 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 that Jesus... Hit them with that Jesus. They be like, oh, Jesus. And it's free. This is nothing. And even, like, oh, is this how much this costs? I'm like, oh, this is not, I don't even know who put that there. You can have it if you want. Oh, can I? 
Oh, hold on. It's a few of them here. Let me take some of these. Other. So the house. Now they took three or four of them to the house. Okay. Now they're like, oh, they done put it up. Maybe they maybe they done hung it. Maybe we could put a little keychain on it and they could hang it from there. You know, it's the dashboard. They riding around with a cross and on the on the rear view mirror hanging. Instead of the pine tree smelling good, they got Jesus blessing. Come, y'all, y'all better come on. Y'all better come on. Talk about it. And now they got them at the house. And now they sister and brother, what's that? What's that, bro? What you got? What was a little square? Or they're picking up the kids from school. Dad, dad, what's that? It's a square. It's a prayer cross. Huh? Really? Dad, dad, pray with me. Next thing they're praying in the car, they're traveling. Come, come on, y'all. Let's just get let's get back to the crap, y'all. Let's get back to the crap. But guys, y'all know that was a good idea. Y'all know that's some good stuff. So I'll make these up, y'all. Make these. Make these up and bless somebody, y'all. And if you're in the chat saying, maybe I'll make a whole bunch of these up one day. I'm not going to promise y'all this because me sending stuff to anybody, that just takes some time that I don't know how to make happen yet. But eventually, this is my goal. Eventually, I could be, for my crocheting family who not crocheters, my family here that don't do any crocheting, and y'all want something like this, eventually one day my goal is to make these and get them sent to you. Because, uh, again, I don't know when that will happen. If it can happen, but that would be wouldn't that be a good goal for me to have that trophy? Yes, that would be a good goal. I don't know. Yeah, one day I'll get it right. I'm gonna get it right. I owe people so much stuff. Y'all just be like, what, what happened to the stuff that you promised me last year? It's coming. As long as I owe you, you never will be broke. And uh, we do have the amazing Granny. Granny's in the back. I love my Granny. Granny, Granny, Granny. Y'all know Granny had a birthday yesterday, y'all. Who didn't know that? Who didn't know Granny had a birthday? Y'all better grab her. Hold on. Let's go. Let's give her some love. Granny. In the building, we love our granny. Our birthday was yesterday. Thank you for everybody who sent some cash our way. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> we love our granny D. Nick Pearl and Square with Granny D. What, what, what? Nick Pearl and Square with Granny D. Thompson. We're gonna be at our house today at 5 p.m. Do, 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 do. 5 p.m. <laughs> All right, let's see here. No offense to those who have already had Nightbot tutorial, but I found that it was hard to locate short tutorials that helped me to understand the elements you work with well. Okay, well, hey, that's why you talk to the family. We in the building. We can do this together live, Lord. Uh, let me finish this up. Let's, I'll show you. I will teach you how to do some Nightbot. If y'all want to do some Nightbot, let's do it. Do it. I did it from members' meetings and stuff like that, but I hadn't been the members' meetings since I was a uh, knee high to a grasshopper. So, uh, let me get this done. We can do a little night black crash coursings. Oh, let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. All right. So, Granny, did you enjoy your birthday? Granny got a birthday giveaway. Is the, is the giveaway going still or is it over long? I don't even know. I don't even know. But, yes, guys, let's go ahead and get through here, y'all, because I'll be yapping and snapping and tip tapping. I ain't read no comments. I ain't even read no comments. Why is it so hard to crochet? Triple C, I use a bigger hook and it's still hard. I'm struggling. My niece, I, I, I got some roller blades yesterday. For those who know. Yes, guys, I got some roller blades. Uh, we went to the park over the weekend. And so I saw people roller blades. We rode scooterings. It was a blast, okay? So little old dirty for me, I said, I want a roller blade. I haven't roller blades since I was 13. I want to start roller blading again. Oh. Uh, I, I don't know where the idea came from. I just saw the kids. And my husband quickly told me last night, he said, I don't know who you think you is, but you're old. So my husband hurried up and let me know that I wasn't the young whippersnapper that I once was, and I thought I was. But I did enjoy the, the rollerblading, and I do want to go to the park that I went to with a bit of rollerbladery because they had a smooth sidewalk. You know, uh, smooth sidewalk always works well. So anyways, I'm going to try that out. But I went yesterday, and I rollerbladed, and my legs and thighs are very tender right now, uh, tender mercies. Uh, but anyway... I, I enjoyed the rollerblader, y'all, and um, very. I had a really good time doing that. I forgot what I was going to say. It was something else about it, but um, I enjoyed the rollerblading. I did that yesterday. Um, had some fun with the family. It was just good. It was really great. But um, I definitely liked rollerblading. I kind of tore myself up a little bit. Got a little little scrapes and bruises a little bit, but other than that, it was good. I was holding on to my gate in the backyard for a very long time, and uh, a couple times I let go. My niece was over there helping me. She was hover riding her hoverboard in front of me, and I was rollerblading behind. She said, well, first lesson, we're going to take it slow. Then after that, we're going to go fast. I said, oh, no, not the fast part. Then you're going to let go of the gate. I said, no, you can't. No, no gate. I'm letting go. You're going to let go of that. Uh, but it was so fun. You know, it was a good Sunday. So we went to the park, and we, we just had fun at the park. So I said, you know what? I want to go to the park and rollerblade. Let me see how it works. 
See if I can roll by the park now. So it was fun. Um, but yeah, here we go. We have reached the endery of this delicious prayer cube square. And uh, again, we can bless so many with this. These are delicious, guys. Again, you want to use a different color or if you want to find a way to make your, your Bibles protrude a bit more, if you want to make a bit bigger Bible. We did use this since we had four, uh, what, four yarned over. And so we had four uh, loops on the hook and then yarn over and pull through. You can might do, you have five loops maybe, depending on. I think this makes it a little bit more delicate, a little more intricate or darker colors. Whatever you choose, um, you can print the labels to go with them. A little rhetorical to pull a beautiful Prayer for granny, do granny some prayers, granny. And I'll take you when you're ready to roll it. Gonna take me ready to roll it, you gonna take me today? Is this oh, it's dark because it's raining? Maybe not today, guys. Okay, since I'm saying I'm doing my own, I'm about to, oh, okay, cool. Hey, hey I'm talking about okay, okay, I caught a lamp. Okay, hey, sis, doing her own. That's what we need. Yes, yes, sis Ashley, please get those night about tutorials on there. Please do them because. That would be so, so good. We need them. Like, yes. Shout out to Sis Ashley. Sunfire, guys, she's going to be doing some tutorials for Nightbot. So many people want to do Nightbot. You know what I'm trying to say? And that's why like not. Because I need some more help with Nightbot. I need to know how to do Nightbot, certain things too. So that's going to be so good. Because I only do like a little bit of minimum Nightbot. You know what I'm saying? Because I haven't had a chance to dig in deeper. Even with StreamYard. I got so many things I want to do with StreamYard too, but I haven't dug in deeper yet. So that's going to be so good. So good. So good. So good. All right, guys. So we have this one here. Very, very easy. I'm gonna make another one. I want to start another one because this is that's how easy it was. And I get a lot of the time. Imagine if I didn't get like we could have knocked a few of these out. We could have knocked a few of these babies out. So again, I'm gonna snip the little tippity tips, skippity skips, and uh, all that. Hey, Granny, with the cheese low. I think you got. Do you got butts long? Oh, where, where the butts coming from? Also, Rick. Shout out to Rick. We know Rick for doing his commentatings. He had did this video. And he did something where it's called he. I gotta go watch this video, show him some love too, because he's been coming over. I gotta watch. I go back and this. I got so many people I haven't visited. But anyways, guys, he has a place called Nothing Bunt Cakes. Anybody got that? Nothing Bunt Cakes is. I guess it's Bunt Cakes only. And we have one here. We got so many stuff here, guys. I don't know what's going on with the city, but this city has starting to get tons of goodies here, and I'm enjoying the goodery. I'm enjoying. The, I'm enjoying the goodery. I wish I could show my my. my I don't know my where are my roller blades at. I don't know where they are. Oh, she has a roller blades. I don't know where they are. But I want to try nothing but but cakes. I want to see what it tastes like. Oh, I can't eat cake right now. I'm gonna eat it today. Well, but seriously, I found that even though I'm eating healthy, guys, that I found out even though I'm eating healthy, like cake doesn't like kill me. You know. Like, I can eat cake and be okay. Like, I can eat a little piece of cake, and it won't just mess with me. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, if I eat ice cream, now, I probably can, I can, I can scarf down the tub of ice cream. Like, there's no ending. Ice cream, milkshakes, like, I can eat anywhere. I can eat a tub of that. But cake, like, I can have a little slice of cake and be cool. Drink a little water with it, swallow it down, I'm good. But if it was ice cream, I'm not delivered yet. So that's why some ways I get down to 200 pounds, which is going to be, like, a while from now. But I hope maybe like J July or something like that. June, July, I hope it'll be at 200 pounds. And so when that happens, I, I must try some ice cream. Somebody, thank you for saying hi. Love you, somebody. What you doing? Somebody you working on? Somebody just stopping and said, Don't be saying, you better stay here for a minute. I'm just kidding. Oh, butter. I was like, Granny, why you asking my granny? She got butts. So we so my granny butts. So we doing that. <laughs> Good morning, Alvin. Hello. Hit the thumbs up, everybody. Thank you so much. I'm going to get in here. You better get in here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, look, Granny Joe said, she said, thank you, John. Let's see. Hello, so you got to just repeat it. Granny be having a thousand people in that chat. You got to repeat it, Lord. That's what I said. When people come in the building, please just repeat it. Don't don't think I'm being rude to anybody. Please, please, please. What I need you to do is always just repeat it. Because y'all know me. I've been here trying to love on everybody. But sometimes it just, I just get a little behind. And I yap so much. I, I get behind on people's things. I yap so much. It's a lot of that happens. So. I never want anybody to feel like uh, I'm being rude or anything like that, okay? Yeah, they know that. They know that I love you, Lord. Okay, let's see here. Everybody's happy. All right, so, again, don't forget to make these things up. They're very, very easy. All you do is start with a chain of 10. Very, very easy, guys. What y'all doing for today? Anybody doing anything special for today? Anybody got live streams? We know Granny's going to be live at 5. It's not, it's not Granny's not going to be live at 5. It's Tuesday, y'all. 
she got behind in my days. Granny's not gonna be, Granny's like, I'm not gonna be five today. Guys, it's Tuesday. Who's what's going on today? Sis Ola Joe is gonna be live at 4 p.m. Eastern. David Browning, it will be live today at Topic Tuesday for 2 p.m. And he is going to be doing a bit of dad joking. Um, I don't know about Granny Cheeks, Lord. I know about your Lord. Oh, geez, we got Granny Cheeks in the chat. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Uh Beverly Lee gonna be live at one today. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so cool. We got some fun. We got some fun. After this, we're gonna be head over to Minister Music Terrence Charles House for some praise and worship. Uh, many of y'all know this already. Also, Carrie Arnie Elephant may be on for a bit of crafting. Then we have the amazing Beverly Lee Creates live today at 1 p.m. Eastern, which is gonna be awesome. She always does so many great things. If you haven't joined her membership yet, what are you waiting for? Also, don't forget, 2 p.m. Eastern, we have David Browning, BYD, Beard Yarn Dudes, who makes extravagant patterns. He's gonna be live for some dad joking. And then at, that's 2 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Eastern, Ola Joe, the crocheting sailor, who does awesome giveaways, awesome cruise trips, and so much more. We'll be live at 4 p.m. Eastern. Then after that, we have Kelly, Crochet Adventures, about 6.30ish or 7 p.m. Eastern, doing a bit of some check-in with me crocheting, and it's going to be a blast over there. Tonight at 10 p.m., tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, Ministry Music will be live again for a bit of, I think he's only live, I don't even know if he's in here, but. He usually goes live about 8 p.m. Eastern for more people can come up and do a testimony. Some of y'all have testimonies. And uh, you can help somebody else with your testimony. So come up here with a testimony, a song, a dance, a prayer, a small word, whatever you want to do at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, that's tonight. And then don't forget, at 10 p.m. Eastern, it's Try It Tuesday here with me. Tonight with Triple C, guys. We're going to try something. If you guys have ideas, I do craftings. We do fooding, so much more. And so last week, I tried tofu for the first time. It was off the chain. All right, it's not out there. Uh, and also, I'm going to roll drop. This young man, from day one, he said, it was before this year was over, it was in December. I watched this man. He said, and then I just want to let you know something. I said, what's going on, bro? He said, in this year 2022, my vision and my goal is to release one video a day. And I and I, I feel bad because I told him, I said, bro, that's some work. He said, I got it. I got it. I said, bro, that's some work, bro. And he said, I got it. And so I had to eat my words up because I never want to push somebody away from something that they want to do. No matter how hard it looks, no matter how hard it may seem, I never want to push someone away from something that they're meant to do. This young man been dropping videos every day. Sometimes he do a live stream. I don't watch this man do three live streams in one day. But this man is no joke. He can't be stopped. And it feels good to watch him grow and just work hard. And the grind is so amazing. When you watch somebody's grind, or their their zeal and their passion for certain things, you be like, <laughs> you better do it. So I feel good. Sorry about that, guys. But anyway, it feel good to watch a young man just kill the game and do great things. Um, because it, it just, it's it's inspiring. So shout out to you, bro, Brian. Just an alarm. Just an alarm for Beverly. Yeah, Beverly Lee. She she been killing the game. Y'all ever seen those crafts over there? The crafts are phenomenal. Shout out to Beverly Lee for the crafting. Um, dad jokes. David, are you sure he tells a lot of dirty jokes? What? Never seen him tell a dad. <laughs> There's gonna be some dad today, law. Go over there and go enjoy a bit of dadding. Okay. So for those who want to see a little dadding fun. Please go over there and enjoy the battery because uh, we're gonna be over here. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna be yeah. He does. He do tell. He do tell some dad jokes. It, it, it be, they be hilarious. They do. They're usually hilarious. Okay, so it's gonna be fun. Thank you guys. I know I was muted. I didn't. The computer, the phone started acting up. Sorry guys. But yes, yes, yes. I've been working. I have, what? I have three jobs. Restaurant. Okay, let's see here. I have three jobs. Restaurant, and I will be working at the school in YouTube. What? Look at look at that. Baby Nugs is working hard. Hey, baby Nugs. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. So uh let's see here. Also, happy heavenly birthday to my daughter Patricia and my wife. Happy heavenly birthday to your baby girl. God bless her soul. God bless you. And I'm gonna keep you lifted up at that time as well. Uh, how old how old will she be? If you want to share, okay. How old will she be? Let us know. Um so we can just be a blessing to each other in this season, okay? Um, and I'm about to do, drop Triple C Ray, guys, and uh, have some fun. And we're going to go over to Ministry Music Office and praise and worship. Ministry Music, are you going to be doing live stream tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern? Because I just made an announcement, but I just want to make sure you are. 
Try to get everybody's Tuesday's announcement out today. That I can remember by heart. If Samantha was here, she'd be. Samantha, Samantha, with everybody. Yes, such and such is going live in two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, Samantha, we understand. Shout out to Samantha who gives out random uh, announcements, uh, even though people that's not even in the chat. Shout out to Samantha. Love you, Samantha. Uh, but seriously, guys, I appreciate you all for coming in that building. It's been a great, amazing, sweet day. We'll be heading over to Minister Music Singer Shower's House for some praise and worship. I want to also see if Curious Live for a bit of crafting or laughing. Uh, and have a good time, okay? So I appreciate you all for coming in. I thank you for just coming in and giving me your time. That is a seed of timery that y'all can never get back. Um, oh, you going live today on Tuesday? Look, at, my husband be going live on Tuesday. Because, you know, like my husband's schedule kind of varies. Usually it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. He don't usually go live early in the morning before bowling, but I guess yeah, he's hungry, and I will never ever stop somebody from being hungry. So after Terrence, uh, my husband's gonna be live right after that, okay? So we don't know exactly if Mission Music is going to be going on from eleven to twelve, sometimes eleven eleven thirty, eleven forty. Whatever time goes after that, my husband's gonna be live, and so we're gonna go over for a bit of praise and worship, maybe some lunchtime. Like I'm about to be eating some fruit just because he just said that. Like now I have to eat, so I'm gonna break this new pattern up. I'm gonna go write it up right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I can't take it. Oh, my husband to go live yesterday, so we got hey, mother, hey, I ain't go live yesterday. I gotta get my hours in. I love my husband. Get your hours in. Hunger Games, baby. It's wind and rain and crazy outside. But I got this new pattern and it's itching. Yeah, I'm itching for it. I'm itching. I'm so itchy right now. I'm gonna write it. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna put my music on. I'm gonna go craft. I'm gonna write this pattern. I love y'all so much. We both played hooky. We played hooky. We played hooky. Okay, guys, I gotta go. We got on Mr. Music's house, guys. He's about to do some praise and worship. I'm going to Carrie's house. Guys, please say triple C right. I love you guys. Uh, I'm gonna write this new pattern out. I might have it done tonight, and I might be able to give it out tomorrow. Tomorrow, if I haven't done. If you guys want to test my pattern for me, let me know. If you want to be a tester, please email me. Please, please, please. If you're watching now, replay. If you want to test any of my patterns, I just said that you have a social media, have some skills to crochet, be able to take my pictures of my pattern outdoors in the light, um, really, really good lighting, clear cameras, wiping it off real good, um, and be able to announce on your channel, share it out, and things of that sort, and you can test the pattern for me anytime. I appreciate you guys. I love you all. Um, we're going to do a triple C rating. I got to go start this pattern. I'm so hungry. I got to go to the yard. I'm so hungry. I, I, I'm so hungry right now. I got a little I got a little time to fit it in. I love you guys. Please be sweet. Be, don't be ugly. Go to Mission Music's house and praise and worship and say triple C rating. And uh, I love you guys. Take care. And uh, my husband said he's going to test for me. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for joining. Bro, Brian, thank you for the super chats. Everybody's in the building. You guys are this one. Oh, you're going to keep. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Sis Ashley, you're killing the game. Love it, Sis Ashley. Love you all. Take care. Have a beautiful day, guys. Thank you for joining me for Craft Art with Triple C.